Good day, friends. It is me, HL Montec, and I'm over here with the Anet ET4 Plus. Friends, yesterday we got Marlin on it. Today it's time to do a first print, so let's get cracking. All right, before we do any prints, let's actually make sure everything's moving the way it's supposed to. I'm going to go into the settings menu, and mine just wanted to do the calibration again, which is fine. Tap again to get in. Let's go to settings. Let's check motion and motion. And let's move axis. Let's home X and tap again. Perfect, just like we want. Let's home Y. All right, and let's home Z. All right, I can work with that for a first print. Let's test auto home just to see how it works. All right, friends, so I am happy with that. All right, friends, let's load some filament. We're gonna go to change filament. And we're gonna hit load filament. I already started this, so it hit the PLA numbers for us a little faster in the video. But as you can see, it is raising up, and it is expecting me to push some filament through just like this. I always like to hold back here because you can feel the filament being pulled. Uh, right here, you can see a little bit of the white coming through. It is not all the way through, so I'm going to hit purge more. And then we're watching for filament to come out the bottom. I'm going to have to do several purges because I was slow to get it inserted. <laughs> all right, I'm going to just squeeze and push because of how slow that's going because I was slow to get it through initially. There you can see we can purge some of what was in it. And now I'll do some purge some more to get the white. All right, I'm going to call that good to go. I'm going to grab the SD card. Notice it goes in with the little wire side facing up. And let's go to Kira and get a print ready. Alrighty friends, so I am in Kira and now I'm putting my SD card in the little reader and you can see the SD card popped up. We need to create the printer. So we're gonna do settings printer and we're gonna add a printer. Now the nice thing about these ANETs is they're actually built into the system. Let's go down to the ANET and find the ET4 Pro and simply add it. I'm gonna keep the name tiger.he created it. I do always like to check the settings, make sure it's the right machine, 222, 2250, it's heated bed, Marlin. They've got their numbers and also make sure that it's got the 1.75 for the filament because if you do it with the 2.85, that does make your stuff turn out. And very simple SART code, but I am gonna work with that from here. So now that we've got it loaded, let's pick our settings. I like to use extra fast for my first print. I'm gonna just double check what they've got in here. These settings, I'm gonna leave the same. I'm gonna stay with infill of 20%, 260, 50 print speed is slow, but I will start there. And then I don't wanna use brim, I wanna use skirt. I like to do four lines of skirt, so that way I can see how that first uh, layer is printing. And then I like it to be 10 millimeters away, so I've got room to see it happening as well. And then the first print I always do is this tiny little cube. It's made from Tinkercad, and it is simply a centimeter cube, and I really like it because it prints fast and lets me know how things are going. You'll notice maybe that mine had not sliced. That's because under preferences, I had shut off slice automatically when I was working with my A10M. So now we've got this design made, and we can save it to the removable disc. Just like that, it's created. We can eject it and take it over to the printer. All right, so I'm finally going to hit continue over here. So that lets the system know it's done. I'm going to take the SD card. Remember, it's shiny side up. And we're going to insert it. You may have seen right here that the media was inserted. Now we're going to hit that little disc. There it is, the ANAT 4 Pro 1 Cube. 
do we want to really print it we hit yes and then as you can see it's starting to heat back up there goes the bed this is still cooling because it'll kick in after the bed heats up we could change our flow our speed you can also just go into the print and you can adjust things with it as well And there you can see we finally got the hot end moving. And we finally got some printer action. And there we have it first print done all right so let's slide it back here and see what we made i'm thinking i'm gonna have to change my offset a little bit so because that's too snug and it's attached pretty darn good because of that as well but as you can see it is a centimeter cube and it turned out pretty crisp not bad for a first print with 0.3 millimeter layers. Alrighty friends, there you have it. First print on the ET4 Plus turned out pretty darn sweet. Marlin 2.0 has got so many settings I can adjust so we can even get it calibrated better, but I'll do those in a future video. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.